Aspen News. Coverage you can count on. Well, Terry Miners <laughs> jokes about our Chuck Olmstead quite often, but tonight Chuck has the joke. That's right, Chuck. If you have a buck, maybe the guy can give you a buck if you do a joke. What do you think? <laughs> I think so. Hey, you hear the one about the balding reporter? Well, you never gonna hear it either. But Rod Kirsting over here, Comedy Caravan. Hi, Chuck. You've been telling jokes, pay a dollar. Hey, Donner, uh, I tell you a joke, all the money goes to the Crusade for Children. All right, Dan Schwab gave you five bucks a few minutes ago. Tell me one That's more. That's a perfect one for Dan Schwab. What do you call a reporter with an IQ of 50? What do you call a reporter with an IQ of 50? Producer. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> How long will you what be you out call, here? What? I'll be out here probably till about 11 tonight and all day tomorrow. Pay a dollar, and even down here on the sign, pay 20 bucks and I can tell you a joke. Exactly. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not Thank you very much. First year you'll be doing this. First year we've done it. We'll probably do it again more next year. One more time. You'll be out here at Mid City Mall. Mid City Mall till about 11 o'clock tonight, and all day tomorrow, starting about 8, 9 o'clock, somewhere, somewhere around that. I still don't get my dollar back, but it's <laughs> all for a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's very dangerous, Gene. This is Chuck Holmes. So come on out, spend some money, and laugh, help the crusade. Back yeah, well, to you. Some people are flat yelling less, and some people aren't. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> That's it for us here at 5.30. Thanks for watching. Gary Rodemeyer <laughs> joins me next with all the day's top stories. Stay tuned. New at 6 on WHAS 11 News. Coverage you can count on. Shots from the gun of a police officer ring out in the parking lot of a Kentuckiana nursing home tonight. A suspect is in the hospital and a normally quiet neighborhood is in shock. A study of the effects of Agent Orange lasts more than two years. The local vet wants to know why. And he's Mr. Drive Time Radio in Kentuckiana, but now he's heading up the crusade for children. We go one-on-one -on -one with Terry Miners next at 6. Roll back the clock. Rock it fast forward. Or greet each moment as it comes. This summer, Ohio is just your speed. From peace and quiet to peace, love, and rock and roll. Whether you want to get away from it all or be right in the middle of the action, you'll discover a world of adventure this summer in Ohio. To get your free Ohio Pass travel planner and valuable money-saving coupons, call 1-800-BUCKEYE today. You have the right to know the complete history of the car you're buying. From the time it was built to the time you buy it. You have the right to see the service records of any car you want to buy. You have the right to know if a car has flood or salvage damage. Kentucky and a car buyers, these are your rights. If any car dealer refuses to provide you this information, don't buy. Hurry to Neil Huffman Nissan, the dealer you can trust. The clouds are going to roll in. And with the clouds will come thunderstorms and lightning and rain by the buckets full. But you already know that because you subscribe to My Weather, a free service from WHAS11.com, providing you personalized forecasts whenever you want and severe weather alerts whenever you need. By pager, by cell phone, and by email. My Weather from WHAS11.com. It's fast, it's easy, and it's free. There can be miracles when you believe. It's a Kentuckiana tradition. Your contributions helping special needs children. The 47th Annual WHAS Crusade for Children. Who knows what miracles you can achieve. The 47th WHAS Crusade for Children begins Saturday at 1.30. Now, Kentuckiana's most dependable news. This is WHAS 11 News. Coverage you can count on. Good evening, everyone. First tonight at 6 o'clock, the weather. We had some afternoon thunderstorms move through the area. For the latest now, let's go to a Storm Team meteorologist, Ken Schultz. Ken? Had one report of some small hail around Charlestown earlier this afternoon, but uh, that's been about it. Just some heavy downpours with these storms. Take a look at our Storm Team Doppler radar. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms across northern Kentucky and portions of southern Indiana. Some of the heaviest activity off to our east now over uh, portions of Franklin and Shelby counties. Looks like uh, some heavy activity just north of Frankfort. Maybe a heavier shower approaching uh, the uh, Frankfurt area from the west over the uh, next 15 to 20 minutes. These showers and thunder showers, again, not severe. They're traveling to the, uh, the east-southeast about 30 miles per hour. So Shelbyville, you'll probably begin to pick up a little bit of a breeze now, and within a minute or two, you're going to see some showers and thunder showers move in your direction. Again, not severe, no weather warnings. 
you know, with the watches, but as these cells move through your territory this evening, brief heavy downpour. Winds could gust up to about 30 miles per hour. They'll all be coming to an end tonight, giving way to some better weather this weekend. We'll have a complete look at that forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Melissa? Thank you very much, Ken. And now our other top story of the day. It started as a man holding his estranged wife hostage, and it ended with police opening fire. The suspect is in the hospital. Jefferson County Police are investigating tonight. It happened here at Linden Lane Nursing Center around 8.30 this morning. George Sells joins us live from the center with the latest. George? Well, Melissa, more information surfacing at this hour about Billy Carter, the man with the gun shot here by police this morning. He had no criminal record other than a speeding ticket, and people who know him had nothing but nice, nice things to say about him. But within the last hour, his mother has spoken out for the first time. She says her son called him this morning. He was very upset, and she says the only person he intended to harm today was himself. He called me this morning, and he says, Mama, he said, I love you. I'm going to kill myself. And he hung up. Then he called me again. He said there wasn't anything that I could say. Then he hung up again. Now, the, his mother couldn't stop him from this, but what did stop him was his decision to come here and a run-in with St. Matthew's police. This is how it all ended. Shattered glass, shotgun shells, and a man headed for the hospital, then jail because of this gun and this St. Matthew's cop. I heard two, had heard a shot, went bang, bang. I said, what is that? It's not like a gun. That came after Officer Chris Redmond faced off with Billy Carter, holding a gun on his estranged wife, Monica. He had been waiting for her when she arrived for work at the nursing home. She was confronted here in the parking lot by her husband. Uh, the witness, witnesses are telling us they had been separated for at least a couple weeks. Uh, she called in to her management inside here letting them know that she was here in the parking lot she had been confronted by him he did have a gun and, and was making suicidal comments to her at that point in time workers inside called police and redmond was one of several cops to arrive on the scene the officer obviously felt like his life was in jeopardy and that's something we'll be talking to all the witnesses to confirm monica carter the nursing supervisor here and according to court documents had separated from her husband billy in 1998 but some employees had no idea the trouble would lead to this She's been here a while. She's been, she's been with us for a long time, but this is the first time I'm aware of anything like this. Neighbors who heard the shots were badly shaken. Well, if I got up and looked, I might could have seen who it was, but you know, you don't want to believe some things that you hear. It's so peaceful out in this area, you wouldn't think that something like that was going on. Now, Billy Carter had filed di for divorce for Monica Carter back in 1998. Then no action was taken on the case, and the case was dismissed, so they remained married. It all came to the altercation here, which has now left Billy Carter in the hospital. He's expected to recover from his injuries. N he next faces charges, two counts of wanton endangerment, and one count of unlawful imprisonment. Live on Linden Lane, George Sells, WHAS 11 News. Some people who live in the Linden Lane area say the gunfire interrupted what is normally a quiet neighborhood. And as Julie Persley reports, it also brought back some painful memories from the recent past. I was, I was scared, very, very scared. Heather Durham lives next door to the Linden Nursing Center where shots rang out. I can throw a rock <laughs> from my window to the building next door, yeah. And I know there's all the geriatric patients. I'm a nurse myself. I was a certified nurse assistant for uh, about two years. and. You know, that thought came out too when I heard it over the news. Um, like, who else got hurt? Who else was involved? Durham says this latest shooting brought back frightening memories. Memories of another nearby nursing home shooting. In 1997, disgruntled worker Kim Harris opened fire at Jefferson Place, killing two co workers. And one of the persons that was involved, um, she was my supervisor. She was my direct supervisor. I'd left the place six months before, but it's hard. It's hard. Harris later pleaded guilty but mentally ill for those shootings. Hillary Deskins also lives in this area and remembers the 1997 shootings. But Deskins says she's not going to let this latest violence rattle her sense of security in this neighborhood. I think it was a, a single, single incident. It just happened to be in this area. But um, no, I still, feel, I still feel very safe here. But for Durham, it's a different story. For her, it's difficult not to be frightened by violence that happened right across the parking lot from her front door. It's very, very scary. You know, it's like, what's this world coming to? As for the Harris case, she withdrew her guilty plea in December of last year, opting for a trial. 
She'll be back in court in two months for a status check on her mental health. Julie Persley, WHAS 11 News. 50 Vietnam veterans who live in the Louisville area are finally getting results from blood tests. Those tests will show whether exposure to Agent Orange is causing their health problems. But as Mark Hebert reports tonight, that study has taken nearly two years and it won't go any further. And one vet is very angry about that. This is Mac McNeely back in 1970 in South Vietnam. This is Mac McNeely today, a Vietnam vet with diabetes he thinks has been caused by his exposure to Agent Orange during the war. I never could understand why I was the only one in my family that had diabetes. McNeely is one of 50 Louisville area Vietnam vets who are part of a Veterans Affairs study, a study to measure their exposure to the dioxins in Agent Orange. That's the defoliant that was sprayed on the jungle to thin it out. The study found 11 vets had significant exposure to the dioxin, one with very high levels, while most, 39 vets, had insignificant exposure. What we've told them is that it's unlikely that they've experienced any health hazard from the H in Orange. But it, that, um, it's hard to predict and individuals are different. Dr. Fred Handler conducted the preliminary study. The results of the blood test are being released now by the Center for Disease Control, more than a year after the vets were told they'd get them. The C CDC didn't want to uh, released the data to us until our study had been approved. They've done more for the people in Saudi in our little, what, 72-hour war uh, than they have for the uh, Vietnam veterans. Dr. Handler says the next step, trying to determine if exposed Vietnam vets passed on health problems to their kids, won't go forward. The CDC doesn't want to foot the $1 million bill. But that's the test that McNeely wants to see for his son's sake. I'm not too concerned about myself. I want to know if I pass anything on genetically. And that is probably what most veterans want to know. But neither Mac McNeely nor any other Vietnam Army vets will be getting those answers. Some fat samples taken from the vets that would be used to broaden Dr. Hendler's study are sitting in a freezer at 70 degrees below zero, and they'll likely stay there as long as the CDC is not continuing the study. One good note, the Vietnam vets with any exposure to Agent Orange dioxins are getting benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs. Mark Hebert, WHAS 11 News. It is one of the most recognized charities in Kentuckyana. And this year, one of the most popular radio personalities in town is jumping into the driver's seat. Terry Miners, the man and the myth, next. You're watching Gary Rodemeyer, Melissa Swan, Ken Schultz Storm Team Forecast, and Gary Gupton Sports. This is WHAS 11 News. Coverage you can count on. This newscast is sponsored by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. You've heard me talk about how Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance serves people all around Kentucky. Well, Cosair Charities provides all-around support for children with special medical needs all around Kentucky. Hey, who wants a ride? Fit me, fit me, fit me. How's the view from up there? <laughs> Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance urges you to support Cosair Charities and Cosair Kids all across the Commonwealth because you can have a big heart no matter how tall you stand. Right, Tiny? caramel turtle ice cream. Hmm. Milk chocolate pecans and caramel swirling through rich vanilla ice cream. Mm. Another really cool flavor from Dean's. All major home appliances are on sale today at Smith's Furniture Appliance and Electronics. Choose from the area's largest selection of America's favorite name brand appliances at guaranteed lowest prices. Every brand, every model. Refrigerators, washers and dryers, ranges, microwaves and dishwashers. Put no money down, make no monthly payments and pay no interest for six months on your purchase. All appliances are on sale now at Smith's Furniture Appliance and Electronics. It's the 47th WHAS Crusade for Children, starring Brian White. Whoa, 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 and you're invited. Come on down to a new location this year, the Brown Theater on Broadway, Saturday at 8. Admission is free. The difference at 11 is on 11. 
WHAS 11 News 19. Coverage of today's top local stories. The fastest coverage of late breaking local news. WHAS 11 News 19. Well, he got hooked on the crusade at an early age, and it was his grandmother who brought him down to see the show. And he thought the fire hats, well, were oh so cool. Well, it's Saturday. He may get to wear one of those hats when he and I co-host the WHAS Crusade for Children. Of course, we're talking about the one and only radio personality, Terry Miners. Tonight, Rachel Platt goes one-on-one -on -one with Terry, and be prepared to hang on to your seats. Every weekday afternoon, Come and listen in to the radio station starting right after 3 o'clock, with your radio dial set on 84 WHAS, Back to you, Cherry. Hey, folks, welcome. Glad to have you along here on 84 WHAS. After you can tune into Terry so Miners. This has been his home since 1985, and believe it or not, as a child, he seemed to know it would be. Early on, he was imitating radio greats in Louisville. Did you grow up knowing I want radio? I did because I sat in my room and pretended to be Bill Bailey. I had a record player with little 45 records, and then I would sit there and say, I'm Bill Bailey, good morning. <laughs> yep, this little miners was hooked on the media. Even as a little kid, though, I would read the paper every morning, and my mother would say, why don't you go outside and play like the other kids? I'll say, because they've got missiles in Cuba. Terry's family has shaped him as much as anyone, the fifth of 14 children, you learn quickly to become an extrovert. You had to stand out to get some attention. And so we even had a deal where at supper time you'd tell a joke at dinner before you got dessert. Oh, you're kidding. And so, so each it started young for yes, you. Yes, that's right. By college, he got his first gig and his first crack at being on air. He meant to announce the time change at 2 in the morning. So 2 o'clock came up and I said, uh, uh, it's 2. Two, but it's one o'clock. I mean, it's one o'clock, but it's two. Uh, if you move, here, here's the Led Zeppelin. You know? We have a story today about the most bizarre funeral. Terry's broadcasting skills did improve. He eventually landed a job at WLRS, then WQMF, before making the switch to 84 WHAS. He got a phone call tipping him off that he should apply. And I sent a letter to them, 84 reasons why you should hire Terry Miners. Cute. And the guy said, as soon as I read that letter, I knew I'd hire you. Miners is as much an icon as the man he used to imitate, Bill Bailey, the man who crowned himself the Duke of Louisville. So what is Miner dubbed himself? <laughs> the geek of Louisville. <laughs> and he means it. He thinks it's a big part of his success. If that geek can make it, it's, <laughs> it's okay for me to take a swing at the plate. So I, you know. Do I, you think of yourself as a nerd? Oh, I am. I am a nerd. There's no two ways about it. What's up? His wife, Andrea, though, will tell you being funny isn't as easy as it looks. It's hard work. People tease and say, oh, you know, you got the easiest job in the world. You just show up and you say no. Whatever. And it's like, no, you know, he is constantly preparing and uh, he's just very uh, driven. One word to describe yourself, what would it be? Driven. That work ethic is something he got from his parents. It's something he wants to pass on to his two sons, Max and Simon. Terry also says in order to score in life, there's one simple rule to play by. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Treat other people the way they want to be treated, and they'll always have doors open for them and always have friends, always have a place to go. And secondarily, in terms of careers, I don't want them to be me. I want them to be whatever they want to be. Ernie Nasser, the 86-year-old stripper. Have you heard about this no, guy? No. There yeah. is, of course, only one Terry Miners, but a Terry Miners who has many voices. I'm Henry Sadlow, just like your Sadlow, except I never am. Be wise, be insured. <laughs> This is Chuck Olmstead, and I'm up from New England. We ate pizza, we fly on Delta, come see the arena. Back to you, Melissa. Well, back to you, Gary and Melissa. Uh, yeah, yeah, bark spot the bark spot. Oh, and thank you all very much. Terry says most of his targets, and I've been one of them, actually like his imitations, and I did. He says Dinwiddie Lampton introduces him as his tormentor. <laughs> and yes, Terry has been offered bigger jobs in bigger cities, but he says he will stay put in his hometown. You can see Terry hosting with Melissa on the Crusade for Children this weekend. The activities begin at 1.30 Saturday afternoon, and the country star, Brian White, will perform at 8 o'clock Saturday night, and you can see it all here on WHAS 11 all weekend. And we are bound to have a good time, so stay tuned. 
and weather is next. It's all tomorrow on Fox in the Morning with Candace Clift and Joe Orlando. Husbands everywhere owe their thanks and appreciation to the makeup makers of the world. Spray on makeup is here and is guaranteed to cut down on the amount of time women spend in front of the mirror. The makers of the product say it works like hairspray. You just spray on the foundation and wait for it to dry. But this miracle makeup costs about $55 and is only available in L.A., New York, Alabama, and Oklahoma. Let's, I'm not sure about that. Let's Spray buy one can and all three of us will share it. How about that? Because we know Tom needs makeup on television. Here's the forecast radar. This kind of gives you an idea of the amount of uh, anticipated precipitation with this next little system that's moving through. You can see that it's going to be in the basic form of sprinkles and light showers, very light green uh, showing up over Kentuckiana through 10 o'clock tomorrow night. And the forecast calls for a high of 50 tomorrow, dropping band and near freezing tomorrow night with uh, sunny skies tomorrow, clear skies tomorrow night. Thanks for joining us. The Rick Bettino Show is next. Have a great night. Good week. Hot new item of uh, clothing for all Cardinal fans. Major huh? faux pas by our equipment manager. Well, you brought him here from Boston, Tim Cipher, and, and he talks, you know, like a typical guy from Boston. He's real hard charging. He came down here. He wanted to prove to the Cardinals fans that he's a big, you know, U of L supporter. So he put together this new hat and he started passing these out. And we had to break the news to him. Go Cards! Go Cards at Harvard Yard. And he, he, the he didn't realize it spelled C A R D S. So he's. <laughs> Back in night school now at UofL, trying to learn spelling. It's very nice. These are very hot and very rare, so get a hold of one if you can. Planet Red's top five. Number five, Michigan State, 53 in a row at home. They go down to Wisconsin on a controversial call. Yeah, that's right. That was unfair, and, and that, well, that's what happens. I mean, that's why you have to play the game. What people always say is just score more points. You don't find yourself in that situation, but they were taken advantage of there. The Lakers lose to the Chicago Bulls. A bad fight breaks out with Shaq, probably a five-game suspension. Yeah, that's right. He took a swing at, a, at one of the Chicago Bulls players, and I, I guess because Muhammad Ali got his oh, star on the Walk of Fame this week, and he just wanted to sort of bring a little boxing into the NBA, and a bad move for Shaq. Arkansas, it's fan half-court shot for $10,000. Makes it, they said he footballed to the insurance company, no good, yeah, the place goes ballistic. Yeah, the announcer comes on and says, you don't get the $10,000, and there are 18,000 people in there, and it, it looks like it's just going to turn into an ugly mob. So the president of the uh, of, uh, University of Arkansas comes out and says, okay, we'll pay. So. This is extremely admir admirable, number two. Billy Packer goes after his own network, calls him irresponsible, the number one money-making show, 60 Minutes. Most sports guys are, uh, are just happy talkers. Hey, it's great to be here. I'm so happy to be on this show. Yeah. But they would never say anything about the network they work for. He works for CBS. He slams on 60 Minutes, says they're irresponsible in some college reporting. And that's pretty brave of him. So that good is. For him. Uh, he believed in what he was saying. And we have a special number one. Number one from Huntsville, Alabama, Marvin Stone. Oh, hey, hey. something about this guy on the news this week. Did you guys hear that? Marvin, welcome to Louisville. Great We're to excited here. to have you. Oh, now, great to be here. for everybody out there, you have less than a year to play. Uh, I actually think, depending on the schedule, you'll miss three, four games. And uh, you chose Kentucky, um, and you don't blame them, obviously. You think right. it's a great coaching staff. You think it's a great school. Right. You just didn't have playing time and you're trying obviously not only to be successful at college but maybe to make it at the next level yes sir why Louisville why Louisville uh, I've been I've been I've been watching Louisville for a while and uh, I like the style of play and um you know I know they had a shortage of a big man and uh hopefully I can provide that the shortage first practice today he went through his first practice <laughs> and we could not get Ellis Miles to try and block a shot Marvin shows up he worked harder than he's ever worked before. <laughs> so competition is great, uh, needless to say. Um, you watched the game last night. Yeah. And then you did some blockout drills with us today. Yeah. What do you think, obviously, of our team? And how much can you help, obviously, in the rebounding department? Uh, Team-wise, um, 
they really, you know, work really hard and, and some great guys. You know, I've been I've been in a couple of days and so really got to know them. Um, oh, hopefully, me, with me coming in, I hopefully I can, you know, bring a prison in size and uh, rebounding. Did you give all your blue apparel away? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some Did of you? it, right? <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> Your mom is a terrific lady. I oh, spent yeah. some time with her, Wonderful. and obviously you're very close. Um, she said she, I told her I was a little old school. Mm -hmm. She said she's old school. Oh, she's old school. <laughs> yeah, old school. She, she cracks the whip a little bit, huh? Oh, yes. At home. Old you got to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm... I'm Pretty laid-back coach. You'll find me a very laid-back and nothing. Yeah. Like <laughs> we are excited yeah. to have you here. And um, needless I'm to say, we, we need rebounding, we yes. need shot blocking, and uh, we're going to spend an awful lot of time in getting your body much bigger. Do you like lifting weights? Oh, I like lifting weights. Yes, yeah. sir. I, are, you, are you strong in the weight room? Yeah, but I can get stronger. Strongest guy on our team is Bryant Northern, believe it or not. Oh, really? He's the strongest guy physically. Okay. Um, the weakest guy on our basketball team is probably Carlos because of his back situation. He doesn't lift that much. But Bryant Northern at his size, pound for pound, is the strongest guy on our basketball team. Uh, Terry, you? Well, I just want to teach him a couple things here. First off, it's go cards. Yeah, I know it's Call. tough. It's a tough thing. Sometimes when he's signing autographs, he still goes, see? It takes a minute to get used to all that. But we're all on the same planet here. We can all love one another. I'm going to teach you one hand gesture. That's the L for Louisville right there. Can you try that one there? There he is. Oh, two hands. Oh, How long is it drive from Huntsville to? It's about four hours. About four hours. Three and a half. Because your mom, <laughs> mom said you were pushing it to make the game, and you, you were actually getting up to 65, 70 miles per hour. No, a little bit beyond that. Uh, your mom's going to come in next weekend? Yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. Well, it, we're, it's exciting to have you as part of our program. I know the whole town's excited about it, and next year our rebounding woes will not continue. You're giving us that commitment yes, here sir. on the show. Yes, sir. Great. Love and son, everybody. We'll be back with our hero amongst us, Luana Patton. Thank you, Mom. The Rick Snow Show from Jillian's, brought to you by Pepsi Americas, makers of Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Code Red, and America's number one bottled water, Aquafina. By Kroger, Go Cards, Go Krogering. By Jewish Hospital, the best place for your heart. By the Kentucky Lottery, somebody's going to win, might as well be you. By Bank of Louisville, always here. By Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. By Hyundai, driving is believing. By the UofL Cardware Store, just for the Cardinal fan. The Rick Patino Show from Jillian's is on Fox. Easy boy. How many 4x4s can you really take off of? That was great. I suppose we better go give these guys a hand, huh? With its patented four-wheel drive system, Jeep Liberty makes every day Independence Day. No laughing this time, guys. Check one out at your Jeep dealer. There are places that I know where people think There's over 25,000 Powerball winning tickets in Kentucky. Got yours? It's America's game. The one and only Powerball. Why are more and more people test driving the Hyundai Elantra? Ask Michael Edo. I drive 1,000 miles a week, and the gas mileage is outstanding. And the new 2002 Elantra has so many standard features, including front and side airbags, air conditioning, stereo cassette, and power package, plus the freedom of the Hyundai Advantage, America's best warranty plan. At just $13,794, it's easy to see why more people are driving home the new Hyundai Elantra. Freedom is calling, yeah. 
Ask any Hyundai owner for their take on Hyundai value. Then test drive the Elantra yourself. We're back now with more of the Rick Pitino Show. Let's welcome a hero amongst us, the director of the West End Baptist Church Feed the Homeless program, Lawana Patton. Lawana, welcome. Hello, Lawana, you're the director, and yes. it really originated eight years ago. Yes. Why don't you tell us about that? Okay. Our homeless program started eight years ago by one of our church members. Her name is Jerry Cargill. And back then, Jerry fed about 14 homeless people every Saturday morning at breakfast. Now, Central Park is right downtown. Yes. And that's where it started. Yes. And now, on Saturdays, we're feeding 150 to 200 people in a, a soup kitchen op operation? Yes. How much time and work goes into that, feeding 150 and 200 people? Uh, three and a half hours three and every and a half Saturday hours. morning. And during the week, you have to do the shopping, get the yes. products. Yes. And um, where do you go in town to do that? I go on Tuesdays to Dare to Care and also on Tuesdays to Sam's and purchase all the food that we need for the program. Do we know how many homeless people we have in Louisville or in no, the state of Kentucky? Really, I really do not. No, just in, in this small area, yes. we're feeding up to 150 200 people. Yes, that's correct. How can the community obviously help and get behind it, um, not only in terms of donations, but in terms of um, food goods and products, and how can we be of some help? Our program is always in desperate need of volunteers. They can help that way. We're always in desperate need of volunteers and donations. Donations. And the donations can be made to the church itself? Yes. Right. How many people help you with, in the organization? Uh, from six to eight every Saturday morning. Six to eight. Volunteers. There has been times that we have had more than eight. More than eight. Yes. And people give their time and effort. Yes. And that's wonderful. Yes, the it's wonderful. The people themselves, uh, after, do they get much counseling and from the from the neighborhood and the community and the church to try uh, and? Yes. Yes, they do. We have deacons there. We have preachers there that try to minister to a lot of these homeless people. Are most of the 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 people who have are being fed by the soup kitchens members of your church? No, they are not. Do you They're try not. to get them involved with the church itself? Y yes. Great. Um, how, do you, how do you feel? You must obviously feel great about all of this because it's, it's so rewarding helping people. It, it certainly is. I feel very great about it. I love helping people that's less fortunate than myself. Yes, and, and right now you'll probably do it from now until the funds hold on. So if we get behind this, yes. we can be great. Yes. And you can add another day to it. Oh, okay. So that's that would, wonderful. That would be something. That, yes, it Maybe would. Wednesday and Saturday, if we can raise some money, yes. where the donations will, yes. will come. Are you, are you part of a large family yourself? Yes, I am. Do you have children? Yes, I have two sons. Two sons. How old are they? <laughs> they say, here we are. <laughs> uh -huh. That's both of my sons. How, how old are they? How old are they? Uh, I have a son, Carlos. Carlos is uh, 35, and Eric is 33. 35 33 and, and 35. 33. And they both had Louisville sweatshirts on. Yes, they so do. So we're excited. <laughs> <laughs> we're excited about that. Well, we're so proud of all your efforts on behalf of the church, and uh, I know what it means to all those people out there who do not have what we have, so we can't tell you how proud we are of your great work, and okay. thank you for being on our show. Thank you heaven, for having me on your show. Thank you. Okay. We'll be back with the number one football coach in the nation, John L. Smith. There's nothing like a great night out, but at Jillian's, we take it a whole lot further. Sure, the classics can be cool, but when we do it at Jillian's, it's a totally new experience. All the entertainment you want, all under one roof, all at Jillian's. Jillian's, proud supporter of the Louisville Cardinals, presents the Coach Rick Patino Show, coming this fall to Jillian. Don't miss it. Jillian's, 630 Barrett Avenue. Hey, Cardinal basketball fans, Coach Patino and the team promise some high-energy excitement this season. Make sure you're dressed for all the action. Stop by Cardware on Shelbyville Road across from Oxmoor, where it's 100% Yulebell merchandise 100% of the time. At Cardware, you'll choose from hundreds of Yulebell clothing items and accessories you won't find anywhere else in Louisville, including a full line of Adidas wear. 
Show your colors. Stop by the UofL Cardware Store on Shelbyville Road across from us. Sensation as real as the streets. Mountain Dew Cold Red. Lip Bluebird sings at midnight. And what's in the bluebird's nest? The pig sunbathes with his brother. Do the pigs need a home? The old lady runs 95 miles down Maine. So that's a thin crust pizza with ham and sausage going to 95 Main Street? Right. Thank you for calling Papa John's. We gotta stop keeping our thin crust a secret. At your neighborhood Papa John's, the secret is out. Thin is in. And if you like thin crust pizza, you'll love Papa John's. Call Papa John's today and get a large two-topping thin crust pizza for just $8.99. That's right, just $8.99. Mike. Uh, hey, Phil. Do you and Maggie ever think about, you know, swapping? Oh, yeah, totally. Your wife is into that? Definitely. <laughs> and the kids. Kids? Yeah. Okay, here are my keys. Let me get yours. Perfect. We're in! Chrysler Town & Country. With a variety of models, available power sliding side door and lift gate, some people just have to try them all. Hey there. Oh, man, it's folks in heaven now back on the Rick Pitino Show. Well, we're excited to have one of the... Top football coaches in the nation, one of the top people in the nation, and now Liberty Bowl champion, John L. Smith. Hey, baby. Congratulations. John L., welcome. Correct. How are you? You guys. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you. When I first came to town, I asked Tom Jurich and three other people in the athletic department, I said, how good is our football team going to be? They answered me all the same way. We're young, we're a little bit weak on defense, and we're hoping just to get over the hump this year for the following year. How did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> I do what? I, I just compliment. Uh, you know, number one, people I don't think realize how tough it is. You do, of course, to repeat a championship. And to ask, uh, you know, our coaches did a tremendous job, and then our players to come back and repeat, uh, win a championship and then go under a Liberty Bowl was unbelievable. So you just have to give credit where it's due. So the coaches did a great job putting it together and the players played. And as far as strengths and weaknesses, we have a good group coming back. Yeah. Where do we need to improve? Well, I think number one, you know, we've got to be able to improve the running game without a doubt. Uh, that was probably one of our weaknesses. Dave's going to be back. Dave's going to have to learn to spread the ball maybe a little bit more than he did, which I think will really add to his growth and to what the you know, the next step is going to be for him. Those people are going to look at him and say, okay, now, Dion Branch is gone, so he's going to have to be able to have four or five favorite guys now, which will be good for the guy to learn that. And uh, then I think defensively we can improve as well. Uh, we're young there. We're finally going to start to grow up a little bit on defense. Um, you know, linebackers are starting to fill in. I think we can be better in the secondary than we were, and uh, we've got to make some steps to get that done. Kicking game should be better next year. So I don't know, I'm looking forward to next year. It's going to be an exciting year, but uh, we have to make sure that we take a step up. Uh, you know, we're looking at third conference championship. We're looking at uh, trying to get to the Liberty Bowl again, trying to win another uh, championship there. There's a lot of things we can do. The biggest thing I think we have to focus on is maybe taking this, uh, if we can start off in the top 25, you know, hopefully we can end up a top 15 team and then maybe a top 10 team and eventually get to where we'd like to be. Well, we've got the right man to get us there. <laughs> We're going to go to the audience now and take some questions. Uh, for Coach Smith, hey, anybody Coach, else have any questions? Coach, I've got the first question. Terry Miners over here. Where? Oh, there you now are. Now that Dave Ragone is a Liberty Bowl champion quarterback, can you still get him to caddy for you? i tell you what. <laughs> I, he, he, have you ever seen him play golf? Is he bad? He hits it a ton. Well, no, I caddy for him. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he goes by us on the fly. It's scary. <laughs> All right, Thomas. Uh, yes, first of all, congratulations and hell yeah. All right, Thomas, thank you. My, uh, my question for you is, uh, is Josiah leaving? And if so, what kind of boy would that leave in the defense? Josiah Illing, yes. He's decided to take his game to the next level. And uh, I really, you know, 
that happen from time to time. You'll have seniors are leaving. We're just going to put him in that senior group, and uh, we'll replace those guys. So it's not going to make it. We'll be as good a football team with or without him. All right, Lewis. Coach, uh, how will our team do uh, in a bowl coalition tournament? Well, I don't know, because we're not going to be able to get into one. <laughs> uh, we would like to someday be able to do that. Uh, eventually, who knows? I don't think it's in the immediate future unless the BCS expands uh, to give us an option to get in there. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now we have we have Florida State on a home schedule next Correct. year. We have Kentucky on a home schedule next Correct. year. Any other changes? No, we have to go to Duke. Uh, we go to Colorado State. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And then we will play everybody with the exception of Tulane, I think, in the league. So there, there should not be one ticket available for a football game next year. What this team has accomplished, we should sell out. There should, it should be a waiting list for football tickets, not only because of the schedule, but because we have the best number one football coach in the world. Right, thank you. Into the, into the stadium. When am I going to ride a horse into the stadium? We're all waiting to see that. We know you're a cowboy first. I'll tell you what, I would, I would love to do that. <laughs> I don't know if the grounds crew will let me out there. That's, you know, that's the, the grounds crew hates Midnight Madness here in football. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with our Rocket to Star New Albany High School Symphonic Percussion Ensemble. Thank you, Coach. Dad, move in on Drew. How's the old war horse holding up? Still salutes, but there just aren't as many parades anymore. Now it's like they never left. Oh. God. Nice room, Beef. Two Twinkies, a ho-ho, and a carrot. I want to make sure you're eating right. If I was a heroin addict, yeah. Great. I'd be a single guy living at home with his parents. <laughs> All I need now is to dust off the old ham radio, start collecting tropical fish. I'll be the biggest loser in the world. Next group. Monday at 5.30 on Fox 41. The Dodge Durango. It not only hauls almost four tons, it's the only SUV with a V8 for around 24 grand. Oh, great. Stuck behind another one of these. Grab Dodge's seven 100 powertrain pledge, plus $1,500 cash allowance or low financing. Ford, GM, and Toyota don't match this. Why don't you get us something to cool this fire down? I got just the thing. that won't fill you up and never lets you down. Make it a Bud Light. That's, that's not that bad. Brand products are guaranteed to be just as good as the national brand for less, and now they're a lot less. It's the Kroger brand sale, and it's going on now. Save this week on Ground Chuck. It's only 99 cents a pound. Big K soft drinks are two for $5, and selected Kroger cheese is just 99 cents each. Bring home big savings with Kroger brands. All backed by the Kroger brand guarantee. Try it, like it, or get the national brand free. It's the Kroger brand sale. Why are more and more people test driving Hyundai Sonata? Ask Amy Bohan. It's very luxurious, it's very dependable. And now we're introducing the redesigned mid-size 2002 Sonata. Automatic with Shiftronic, front and side airbags, stereo CD, and air conditioning. Plus, the freedom of the Hyundai Advantage, America's best warranty plan. At just $16,494, it's easy to see why more people are driving home the new 2002 Hyundai Sonata. Calling, yeah. Ask any Hyundai owner for their take on Hyundai value. Then test drive the Sonata yourself. The Rick Pitino Show is Sundays at 4 o'clock at Jillian's downtown. Come down and be a part of the show. Our Rocket to Stardom guest happened to be number two in the world and number one in the United States, the New Albany High School Symphonic Percussion Ensemble.
Congratulations. Congratulations. Why don't you guys come on out here? That was awesome. Your name is? Uh, Darian. Darian? Yeah. Darian, how long have you been doing this? This is uh, my second and a half year. Second and a half year. Your name? Uh, Matt Wagner. Matt Wagner. Now, let me understand this. You're number two in the world, number one in the United States. People from all over the world will come here this year to compete for the championship? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this year, uh, it's up in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and groups from all over the world, everywhere from Brazil to Europe, um, just all over coming to compete against all sorts of United States uh, competitors. Darren, how much practice does it take to, to play this great? This was absolutely awesome. How much time? Well, we just recently got done with a uh, all Saturday practice from about 1 in the afternoon till about 10 in the morning. So uh, it was fun and it takes a lot of work. We practice three days a week for about three hours. Is there any way I can have you come speak to my team about working longer hours? Sure. <laughs> uh, tremendous situation. We thank you for coming. Thank all of you for coming. We'll be back with our game highlights, Marquette and TCU. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you want to keep up with sports at UofL, call this toll-free number to subscribe to the Louisville Sports Report, your source for information on Cardinal Athletics. Mr. Hayes is searching for the perfect apartment and the perfect landlords. I'm your new tenant. Now, his game begins. Mr. Hayes? This is a sick individual, Miss Palmer. Oh, God. I got a guy living in my building who hasn't paid me one cent. If he's in, he's got right. <laughs> God forbid he ever makes it personal. Melanie Griffith, Matthew Modine, and Michael Keaton. I want him out of here! Pacific Heights. Monday on the Fox Movie at 2. Ford Focus. Most wanted car of the year. One of car and drivers, 10 best. Drive it today. Success means surrounding yourself with smart, hard-working people and letting them do what they do best. Hi, it's Rick Pitino. Day 25 to Tampa. Excuse me, Coach. Leaders know when to face a problem head-on. Coach, I can't find my shoe. You lost a shoe the size of Rhode Island. Rhode Island, right. And fashion a solution. Just right. leave your shoes on, period. And it's important that people know you're there for them. Great cause. I'm happy to do it. Is there an airport in this morning? We got an name, Bob. Okay, Coach, we're on to tomorrow's schedule. Right, okay. I've got 10 o'clock. Wait. Maybe you're fatigued because of work. Maybe the heat is making you sweat. Or maybe it's a heart attack. The warning signs are not as obvious as you think. Nausea, dizziness, shortness of breath, even vague feelings of anxiety. If you experience any of these, get help at the hospital that sets the standard for heart care. Jewish Hospital. Excellence above all. Rick Pitino Show from Jillian's, brought to you by Pepsi Americas, makers of Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Code Red, and America's number one bottled water, Aquafina. By Kroger, Go Cards, Go Krogering. By Jewish Hospital, the best place for your heart. By the Kentucky Lottery, somebody's going to win, might as well be you. By Bank of Louisville, always here. By Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. By Hyundai, driving is believing. By the UofL Cardware Store, just for the Cardinal fan. The Rick Pitino Show from Jillian's is on Fox. Well, Coach, we had a chance to rock the house two times this week in Freedom Hall. It was a great week. Certainly, Marquette was not as, as good as TCU. We came and ninth, down 19 to nothing, had to come back, fought back, and just didn't make the right plays at the end of the game. What do you say to guys when you're down 19 to nothing, though? Are they freaking out? I actually told them, just relax. You're at home. And I used the, uh, the example of Kentucky playing Mississippi State. Kentucky was up 21 to 2 at Mississippi State and they wound up winning the game. So I told them to relax, we'll have our run. And they did have a nice run back, obviously got the lead and then, and then lost it in the end there, which is a, a, an emotional hit from the team. But what did they learn from this game? Well, I told them that they can't blame it on free throws. 
They can't blame it on the five-second counts and the turnovers at the end of the game. They have to blame it where the blame should lie is on a lack of rebounding. They dominated us on the glass. Whether we're small or not is irrelevant. We have to do a better job of blocking out. So you need to tell a man who's five foot nine that he's six foot nine. That's what it's well, getting into his head. Against TCU, now we have a totally different basketball team than Marquette. They never pass the ball more than once or twice a possession, and they just throw it up. And again, we had to get our run in this basketball game. Reese Gaines started out at the one guard spot in place of Carlos Hurt, who's now going through some back treatments. Hopefully he'll be back somewhere in the course of the season. That was tough for Reese to handle that position, but Bryant Northern filled in there and uh, O'Bannon also, or uh, Muhammad actually. Muhammad did, and, and Junior certainly did a good job as well as Bryant. Uh, I, we won't start Reese Gaines at the point anymore, but we'll probably finish with him at the point. We don't know how long we're without the services of Carlos? No, it's, it's a day-to-day -day thing, and we'll see how his treatments work. Uh, and certainly go from there. And you're hitting the road this week. We hit the road. East Carolina, one of the toughest places from what I understand in our conference to play. And then we go on to Cincinnati. We'll be back next week. Thank you all for coming.